Okay, so last time we started talking about the cosine rule, and remember the cosine rule was c squared equals a squared plus b squared minus two lots of a, b, cos, c. So therefore, if I'm trying to find out an angle, I need to rearrange this formula. So I'm going to take the whole of that subtraction, over to the other side. So I end up with c squared plus 2ab cos c equals a squared plus b squared. Right, I'm now going to take the c back over the equals. So I end up with 2ab cos c equals a squared plus b squared minus c squared. Now I'm going to get that 2ab over the equals. So that's going to leave me on the left hand side the cos c only. The right hand side is a squared plus b squared minus c squared and then I've got to divide that because that was a multiply by 2ab. So if I look at my triangle that I've got here and I'm using that rule then the c squared, the bit I'm taking away, is the bit that's opposite the angle. So this is the angle I want to find here. So therefore, this is my c squared. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go 35 squared plus 21 squared minus 16 squared divided by two lots of 35 times 21. And that equals cos c. Now, when I work that out, again, I'm going to work that out, and I should get a decimal. 35 squared plus 21 squared minus 16 squared. And then I've got to divide all of that by two lots of 35 times 21. I would make sure you use brackets, because otherwise you're probably going to get the wrong answer. So I get cos c equals 0.9. 592. So therefore, when I come to work out, remove the cos, remember when we removed the sine, it became sine minus 1. So therefore, when we remove the cos, it's going to become cos minus 1 of 0.9592. Remember, I'm using the whole decimal my calculator has given me, so not just those four decimal places I round it to, because that's going to make my answer more accurate. So that gives me an answer of that angle is 16.4 degrees. Okay, so that's using the cosine rule to work out an angle.